I didn't. I was, <laughs> So our, this we're is left. how we start, baby. This is how we start. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for setting your reminders and saying, hey, I think FCN is going to do another episode of their 12 Days of Christmas list today. And yes, we are. Yes. We are. We did it. I don't know if we did it, but we made it. We made it. I feel like the the, you know that that fat forty something, um, who for whatever reason, they keep doing marathons, and it's like, but you haven't lost any weight, mm. and it's like, but you mm. keep you keep spending your money, you mm-hmm. keep traveling around, you keep getting into these marathons, right, and you. Are you doing it just for the medals? Like, I, I call them medal hoes. Right, right. I call them medal Because they get participation now. Like, you, oh, yeah, no, no. Even in grown folks' marathons, you get participation. No, if you pay medals. this dollar amount and mm. you cross that line, you're going to get a medal. You finished. I finished a marathon. Yes, yes. Uh, FCN is that 40-something overweight person who keeps mm-hmm. getting keeps into streaming live and... <laughs> Well, what are we getting out of it? <laughs> to be determined. <laughs> TBD! I am the Revolution. This is J. Co. Is it? You can find us both on Twitter and Instagram, or you can definitely find us at our website, the Fifth Column Network dot com, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. on our Facebook page, Fifth Column Network, our YouTube page, X D B Z C W I T nine three seven dash B four nine twelve. Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> FCN Prime, FCN underscore, underscore. Prime. Mm-hmm. And that's both, right? That's right. Twitter and Instagram. That's it? Yeah. Where can they find us on YouTube? Uh, YouTube. XP uh, 2513B slash 2819 underscore 12. Yep. Yep. Lowercase B. Lowercase B. Speaking of B, I be dreaming <laughs> of a seamless transition. Of a se- <laughs> Woo, that transition, ba- Woo, my transition game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am what you call semi pro. Yeah. Okay. But I've been pro because I've been paid. You have to been do. pro. No, you I've been pro. All the way pro. So am I back in the D League? Did they send me back? Uh, no, you went back to work on your game. <laughs> You're like, you know what? You know what? I got to do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm good. Go I can be up here. Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to work harder. I'm going to work on like my post-up moves. Mm-hmm. I'm going to work on different. Yeah. Show us. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. You are fluid. You are flu. Bowling. 1956 All-Star team. <laughs> 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 Zacharias Unrad. <laughs> Unrad. Because yes. that was like that was gonna be your original that, that name. Been my was it Zachary or Zacharias? No, no, Jedediah. Jedediah or, Zachar- or Zachariah. They were they were split. Mm. Not they. My dad. Yeah. My mom saved me. She saved you. Good. Good yes. for her. Waspy. German Nordic. Uh, six foot mm-hmm. blonde, blue eyed <laughs> self. My mom has neither blonde hair nor blue eyes. She. No? No. She did have blonde hair, though. She had blonde hair at one point, bro. I don't know, because when she was that young, when when the pictures make it look like she had blonde hair, they were black and white pictures. You got a comment. What's the comment? Did you work on your. Oh, shit, it disappeared. It's from Bob Rob. He's talking, basically. No. You're picking jelly rolls? Did you work on that? Okay. Okay. Broke ass shot. Who okay. said that? Jay Mills. Oh, okay. Pump fake. Pump fake. Ugh. Nothing but net. Jay Mills. Net neutrality, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I posted about that today. I, I did. It was a really angry post. It was. It was a very angry post. Because I got these, you know, <laughs> let's call them honkies on my page who, you know, are talking about, you know, no 
if you're, you know, this, then you should do this, and you can do this instead of this. And I'm like, that you speaking from all the way privileged. Like, where are you speaking from right now? Anger. I'm speaking from anger and from a streamer of content on the interwebs. Wow. And you can say honky without... Honky, honky, honky. Oh, sir, your racism is... <laughs> say magnifique. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's enough of our shenanigans and monkey shines. I... Th- I now know what John Luke Picard felt like on the Next Generation yeah. when he had, because he was always, <clears throat> he was yes. always keeping his, because he didn't want to look. He was always messing with his jacket, right. because clothes on here make me look like three times fatter, because mm. I'm not that fat. Like right. I'm no. just, I'm, I'm thick, but I'm not, I'm not like fat. Like I don't have no, no, you're I don't not have that no fat forty-something-year-old running marathons. That's not I am true. not. I am not. I am the sexy dad that shows up to pick up his daughter, and they're like, "That's your dad?" And he's like, "Yes." And they're like, "Oh my god! Like he is hot. <laughs> he is totally hot. Your dad is mm-hmm. a total beefcake." I ain't that guy. That's yes. That's who I am. Right. And then I got all this junkage that makes me look like I'm like mm-hmm. heading into morbid obesity, and I'm not. Right, I'm not. not. I got like three for real abs. <laughs> Jamie said you big bones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, you know. Speaking of John Luke. Yeah. Did Star Trek ever have Christmas episodes? I don't know. Mm. I don't remember. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's get to our list, ladies and gentlemen. So um, can we can we remind everybody how we came up with this? Does anyone know uh, yes. the, the the way that we tabulated? Yes. What was the what was the formula used? Uh, Criteria. Okay. Four or five criteria. One was that it needs to be creative. It, it needs to be, be creative. creative. Original. 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 Move you from beginning to end. Move you from beginning to end. So it could be comedic or dramatic. Comedy or dramatic. Or drama. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It had to be a television series. Television series. Could not be event based like a Rudolph the Red Nose. No event based right. like Charlie Brown or Rudolph. Yes. And if they use some Christmas uh, thing like Scrooge or something, yeah. it had to be the best usage of Right. It. Yeah. yeah. If they use the okay. trope. If they use the trope. There you go, see? No tropes. I don't think any trope got in here. No. It did not. No. I don't think we got a, I don't think we placed, a trope. We placed a premium on that originality, I, I feel. Yes. Th- there's a yes. There's a lot of original. There's one that I'm like, hmm, how did that one get in? But the votes happened. It happened. So it was the move you from beginning to end. Move you from yeah, beginning to end. Yeah, I still. When I looked at the list, it, I, that was uh, the effect. I uh, yeah, I hear you. But y'all ready to begin? I'm ready. You all are. Re- are you guys ready to find out what we uh, came up with the FCN? So, uh, if without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the number ten, top ten Christmas themed television episode is. In Living Colors, season two Christmas episode yes. is number ten. Number ten. Why? Why would you, what? What happened? What? Yes. You changed the list. Oh. It what? It's number ten. It's number ten. It is number ten. It's number ten. That was a hilarious episode. That yeah. I, I forgot about that, and it had classics in there. It had Cephas and Reese. Yeah. It had. Uh, Vera de Milo. Vera de Milo. Vera de Milo. It had uh, what's the 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 fire marshal Bill? Fire marshal Bill. Yeah. Uh, as the Santa Claus, it had Homie Claus. It, homie, listen, listen, home, listen. Siva Sarisi mm-hmm. singing those songs. Silent night. Wait, it's a silent. <laughs> Come on now, Reese. You supposed to be quiet. It's a silent night. <laughs> like, listen. And then he, ah, listen, that, listen, Stevenson and Reese was hilarious. Yes. And I think, and I want to say that when, when it, this was all discussed, there was a lot of stuff discussed. Yes. Oh, yeah. A lot of stuff discussed. Uh, but this one, we're, we're going to talk about another uh, sketch comedy 
uh, series, a very classic one. But mm-hmm. this, that one lost out to this because of the simple fact that that series had one skit that... Yeah. And it was a great, was super a great classic skit. skit, but that was like the strength of the whole episode. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Okay. So you feel you feel comfortable about uh, Eleven Color? I do. I feel very comfortable with that at number ten. I'm 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 happy. I like the way it kicked it off. Okay, that's I'm, a strong. Yeah, that's strong. That's, like, a, that's number ten. What's number one? Yeah, that's a that's a bold that's a bold list, my that's friend. Bold. That's a okay. That's number ten. All right. Uh, at number nine, ladies and gentlemen, is. That is right. Ugly Betty. Ugly Betty. With fake plastic snow. What? I listen, what? I, I, I have to be honest here. I never watched Ugly Betty. Mm-hmm. Uh I think and if I did, I just watched it for the lady that uh showed her uh Chochas, her her chimotulous, mm. uh and then got disbarred from being uh Miss Miss America or whatever she ran for. Yes. And it, sometimes the snow falls down in June. Sometimes the sun goes round the moon. I don't know what happens. Just what's happening after I that? Thought a chance had passed. Yeah, you, you go and save, save the best for last. That's some good harmonizing right there. It was. Yeah. Y'all, y'all right. Nessa. Yeah. Nessa <laughs> William. Nessa. Nessa William. Oh, Nessa, baby. Oh, Nessa. I'm ignoring Google. our producer's comments. Cause yeah, I don't care about her exactly. vocal indignity towards us. That, so, yeah, I didn't watch it. No. But somehow other people in yes. the writer's room lobbied and made strong arguments. And, and the simple fact that I think the creativity part, uh, being a Latina, being in the workforce, uh, a Christmas party, her dad supposedly was um, in jeopardy of being deported. Of being deported, yeah, so social relevance. Social relevance, all in the Christmas episode. I I was like, okay, I relented. Mm-hmm. And once everything got all the votes and stuff, it ended up at number nine. Yeah, oh yeah. At number nine, okay. Yeah. I, okay. we went from strong to shaky ground? No, 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 no. I don't think it was, I don't think it was shaky. I just, I didn't know enough about it. I just, I don't want to, you know, have the FCN universe out there thinking that I'm like, I've seen everything. I am the epitome, the, the gosh dang integrity of my word. When I talk about pop culture, especially television, you're going to trust my word because I'm not a crook. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay, that works. I don't know. I feel patronized right now. Mm. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. You ready to move on? What's happening? What? What's happening right now? What? I'm not feeling your energy right now. I just now. went to I, I went, went to, to Periscope. A, I went to I want to catch uh, Rob's uh, snarky, snarky comment. ass comments. Okay. Because there's okay. going to be more of them that show up. Yeah. Okay. He's, He's getting in shape. He's a snark. He's been getting in shape. I hope he gets in real good shape because I'm going to chase his ass down. I'm going to chase his yeah. six foot five ass down. <laughs> At Universal Fan Con, <laughs> I hope I hope the knees is ready for what I got for him. He says, "Stick to comics, Bama." Oh, wow! He see? called us a Bama. See? He called us a Bama. See, that's the old DC people. Stick to comics. Man. Now you sound like one of those folks that are telling football people not to get talk about politics. Yeah, huh? yeah. Huh? Huh? He should stick to Mambo Sauce on. <laughs> Chicken legs, whatever the hell y'all put that garbage on. It can't beat mild sauce. Don't no sauce beat mild sauce. Shut down. In the world. Yep. And number eight, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we have. Ah, uh, nope. Uh, that is, I don't think that one should be in there. What? Nope. What? Nah. I don't, I don't think Go Tell Ona Martin was original. No. I think the only, the point that you all made mm-hmm. was, and, and you all looked it up. Mm-hmm. I, you said it, it was the first 
television episode to have a Kwanzaa. To, to Kwanzaa on there, yep. yep. So by that alone, that is the only reason why I was like, I guess that was. It was very original. I, I think. First of all, Dragonfly yeah. Jones has never been in any other Christmas episode ever, so you got that. Yeah. And I talked about this last night. I talked about that last night, and uh huh. Oh boy, holding them hostage on Christmas with the bomb, but it was fake. That's not original, That's fam. Not? No, he was in the movie where he was held hostage with a bomb. He was in Speed. That's right. He was. He was speed. the bus driver. He was the bus okay, driver. Okay, maybe it wasn't original. Gigantor. It was hilarious though, and it moved me from beginning to end. Okay. I, I still think the Martin episode with the swing is, was the best Christmas one. <laughs> I, I, I was voting for that one, but, you know, it lost because it didn't move anybody from beginning to end. Right. It was funny, but and I understood where everybody was coming from, but nevertheless, but I'm not with that. Why? Can I ask this question? Sure. Um, FC and Universe, um, the We the Fivers, uh, number 10, mm-hmm. Living Color, number 9. Ugly Betty, mm-hmm. number eight, Martin. Mm-hmm. So if it's brown, you gonna keep them down? You going y'all? This how y'all doing these lists? This is how y'all got the brown folks at the bottom of the list? Who are y'all? <laughs> Everybody that ain't me. <laughs> Even though this your show. <laughs> yes, I was chosen. I was selected to host this show. Mm-hmm. There was a there was a, a committee of so of, here's what happened guys last people. night when we were finalizing selections based on viewer feedback based on the discussion that we had based on the criteria Raymo had these really great like episodes that he was like we should put this in we should put this in and we all just yelled we shouted him down we said no you don't know TV you oh that didn't happen oh okay so you participated in this list. <laughs> Show your ass up back there, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep this uh, list a uh, rolling. It gets with, better. With the number seven pick is. Let's sit, ladies and gentlemen, fresh off the boat, the real Santa. Listen. I, I'm going to say this. Listen. That episode <laughs> is, first of all, it was creative. Yes. It was very original. Very original. It was very original, and it moved you from beginning to end. That ish was hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Santa Claus is not white. He is Chinese. With two with two degrees, one was aeronautic, it, right? Aeronautical engineering. This is how he how got he built yeah. the sleigh and how he got yeah. it to fly. How he got it to Listen. fly. Listen, that whole and that wife, she is crazy, yeah. man. Yeah, that show that shows. If you haven't seen it, oh, it, but Santa also loves spending time around his mother. Oh yes. <laughs> Santa, and then wait, what did she say about uh, Santa? Uh, the white Santa, she said he's he's either a toy maker or a uh, at a best highly, at, at best, best he's a toy maker. At best he's a toy maker <laughs> or a glorified delivery man. He is by no means in management. He's not like, in management. He's not in management. <laughs> like I I died. That episode is yeah. absolutely hilarious. Oh yeah. And I I I think can I be very honest with you mm-hmm. of of the. So far, everything underneath five, mm-hmm. I think that that has a legitimate spot, and I feel that it was underserved. Mm. I think it should have been a little higher, mm. but that's neither here nor there. The list has been made. The list has been made. They've checked it twice. That's they right. tried to see whose you know whose opinions were crappy, crappy or concise. Concise. Yep. So that's a great episode. If you haven't seen it, uh, please go check it out. Uh, the real Santa is definitely Chinese. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes. Sense. And then you know they're typically pretty slender people, mm. so I, I could see a Chinese Santa getting down the chimney 
very well. Look at that. It all... It all makes sense. It makes sense. If, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to teach the children from here on out okay. that Santa's Chinese. <laughs> I want to be an inclusive family. I, you know, everybody has a role in this world. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. You know, uh, the devil in my house is definitely a white man. Now, uh, let's move on. The number six episode is... The Simpsons. Oh, Simpsons roasted on an open fight, like yes. the the episode that started this it all. The first Simpsons episode started it all. Yeah. Do you feel that it is justifiable at number six? I I do. <clears throat> yeah, my pick was a different Simpsons episode. Okay, I would have put that one higher. Okay, but which I, episode? It was the episode where Bart. Got caught stealing in the store. He's trying uh-huh. to um, get that video game. Yeah. And the security guard with the little tattoo, with the tattoo. and the crew cut caught yeah. him. Kicked him out the store. He's like, you can't come back. Yeah. So then his mom's like, oh, I got to go to the store. We're going to go and get our pictures, right? Mm-hmm. The family pictures. And he gets caught up. And he gets caught up. And it reminded me. Yes. Go ahead. It reminded me uh-huh. of a scenario. So not only was it a good and a funny episode, uh-huh. but there was a scenario that I can relate to. Oh, you can relate to. Now, is this scenario relatable on your own? Oh, no. I am well, pretty I sure think, my brother I think that this, can relate as I, well. Uh, I think that you should keep names out of this scenario. <laughs> I think if this is your personal scenario, oh. I think you should enjoy... This scenario alone. Okay. Every story doesn't have to include your siblings. It doesn't. You're right. So, you know, why don't you go out there by yourself sometime? I'm, I'm, why I'm do you to. always have to drag all your siblings with you? Or this 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 phantom brother of yours. Right. I mean. Yeah. So, me and Ravo was at <laughs> Kmart, right? And we was getting ready to go on his college tour. We was in high school. And we was like, yeah, because we already had it down to a science boosting from the store. And so we was like, yeah, we're going to feed everybody, right? We're going to be the we gonna We be was going to feed the, with the we snacks. Gonna, well, we not everybody, but chicks. all right. And, and a couple of dudes. And like a couple, couple of, a couple of, of close dudes. boys. But yeah, you know, but we was going to feed the girls. Definitely. We was trying to impress. And we was going to pocket our money because that's what we yeah. did. So when we go, yeah. we got our money to, you know, trick off or whatever. Yes. It ain't tricking if you got it. It, it, ain't, it ain't tricking if you got it. We always had it. Continue. So we walking out the store. And we hear something behind us. They announced it. They, they, they did. They said when we were in the security aisle. to so and so. They had aisle. no. It wasn't security. They had the code for it. it was like loss prevention. Right. And we was like, oh, nigga, we know what that means. The jig is up. I felt like Dave Chappelle knocked the water bottle over. So we're like, we should go now. So we leave. But did we not steal? No, we still stole. Yeah. And so we walk out the store with. Loads of merchandise, and I don't know how we thought we were gonna get away with this. Like it was, it was so it was, obvious. It was so. I mean, like <laughs> bulges. <laughs> and what did we think we were doing? <laughs> I wish I could pick this up yeah, and shove it, it underneath me yeah, and right walk there. out. Like he's like, I don't have any merchandise on me. Unhand me, you knave. So we're walking out into the parking lot, and we hear the guy say something. I think he was just like, hey, or something. And we look back. We looked at each other. We didn't have to speak. Pew! Gone. Gone. And I mean gone. I never in my life ran that fast. Long story short, no, no, we no, got, no, 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 continue. We got to do the whole thing? Do oh, the, well, so we right. run and then what So happens? we're running around the, through the parking lot. So it's this huge parking lot. No, this big you didn't talk about store. dumping. You're leaving. Okay. Because well, when be, we're no, there. No, no, I, yeah. Because it's the dump, the purge. The purge started right when we decided to take off. The yes. purge. So we led a trip. As, yeah. We were like Hansel and Gretel of <laughs> thievery. <laughs> we we had a, a trail of... Sugary confections <laughs> following us. Sugar babies, right. nerds, everything that you can imagine is flying from us. Like, mm-hmm. we're just throwing candy as we run away as we're being pursued by uh, the, the, the man. The, the man. And there was an off-duty police officer there. So we had a cop, 
and the security guy chasing us. And we're the most, the two most recognizable, rec- recognizable people. Now see, mom used to always tell us, don't commit a crime because everybody in the city know who you are. <laughs> and knows. yet, we did it anyway. Hey, it's us, baby. Yeah. Who's gonna? I'm, I'm gonna cut it short. We got away. We got away. But the next day, my mom was like, "Okay, we gotta go to Kmart." I was like, "No!" <laughs> the next day. The next day, I was like, "Oh, the heat ain't faded yet. I can't go in there." I so. gotta say this. I jumped in the dumpster to evade uh, capture. Yes. And once I settled in the dumpster, a full dumpster, once I settled, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to just stay here all night. <laughs> so I said, no, no. I'm just going to tuck mine in. I was, I was like, I'm just going to sit in here all night. And then I heard, hey, there he is right there in the dumpster. And I looked, the whole side of the damn dumpster is missing. And I was oh like, God. oh, hell, man. Yeah, right. I didn't, I, uh, so I jumped out. I didn't even go out. Of the, no, no, no. I jumped out back. I lifted the thing up and jumped out of the dumpster. And I'm running. And some voting for Roy Moore ass white woman. Punky tried white to, woman. Oh, she tried to be a hero. She tried to yeah. hit me with her car. I wish I could do it. The illustration of the jump slide. But if oh, you've man. ever seen a movie where someone jump slid across the hood of a car, that man did it. All the athleticism. It happened. Ugh. In real life. I jumped over the car and then, sl- listen, listen. Then we ended up in some woods. Some woods. Uh, with yeah. some deer showed us the way. Uh, reindeer. Yeah. So, yep. all Scratches right. Scratches the leg. Oh, it was awful. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, well, yeah, so th- all that to say. I wanted that Simpsons episode to yeah. make it, but this one was properly placed. It was properly a great placed. episode. Okay. Thank you for putting out uh, our personal business. <laughs> I am yes. very unappreciative of this right now. Nevertheless, we shall continue with number five. <laughs> That's right. Can you get more creative? Can you get more creative than Lost? No. And having not just a phenomenal Christmas episode that's about love mm-hmm. and forgiveness and the, the and spirit reconnection, of, and yes. reconnection that the holiday should bring you, you have arguably their greatest episode. Yes, yes, absolutely. And that episode was amazing. Uh, Desmond was one of the most intriguing characters. Yeah. Him and Penny tied the whole show together, their yeah. storyline. Yeah. And you kind of found that out as it went on. Yeah. And her stupid ass of, daddy. Her daddy. Her daddy. Hey, hey Charles. Charles Whitmore. Charles Whitmore. I want to get back to the island. Yeah. So. Um, that is my island. <laughs> and I'm going to get back to the island. <laughs> Penny, you are forbidden to speak to Desmond. But Desmond. I love him, daddy. <laughs> I love him. You don't love him. You don't know what love is. You're just a silly 35-year-old woman. <laughs> How in the hell do you know what love is? I may not be a big business owner, but I know what love is. Ah, don't sass me. <laughs> you Scottish wench. Don't sass. I don't know. I think that's what happened. I watched that episode. I'll watch it again tonight. Oh, definitely. I love the episode. I think it was a great one. And I think that this number, at number five, it kind of sets the tone for where we're going. I think that maybe people might look at this list mm-hmm. and they might go, ah, with your, with your criteria, it maybe should have been higher. We don't know. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see what other people think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you, you ready to move forward? I'm ready. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our number four pick. Ladies and gentlemen, Tales from the Crypt and All Through the House. I don't care what any of you say. That was my pick for number one. If y'all want to know, oh, I was yeah. like, that should be number one. That's the most creative. It's comedy. It's scary. It's gory. It's, a, it's, it's all of that. Mm-hmm. All of that. And, and the Crypt Keeper. Oh, the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> and a white lady getting her comeuppance. Mm-hmm. Murderous. Yes. 
I, I, listen, you can't get more creative than that. No, absolutely not. That that was a that was a shocker to make the list. I, if I'm coming into this, I would have never in a million yeah, years guessed that that would have been on there. I, well, for me, it wasn't true because I was like. <laughs> Like four different character laughs. Yeah, all in one. You got it. Nice. Mm. So yeah, all through the house horror. Mm -hmm. Um, Again, I don't think you get more creative than that. It 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 kept you from the beginning to the end. Like as soon as the credits finished, that broad whacked that dude in the head. It was on with a fire poker, and then had the sound coming out and mommy. Yes, honey. Like it was funny. It was like, and then she goes out, she makes joke about, you know, you should have done some sit-ups, and, yep. you know, and then all of Then he jump, ah, jump scare, him choking her, mm-hmm. you know, before it was politically correct, can't choke a white lady on TV no more. <laughs> That's when America was great. <laughs> Crip keeper, white ladies killing their husband, yeah. white husbands coming back from <laughs> their messed up, poking the head to choke his old lady out in the snow. That is when America was great. Okay. The 90s. When you when you could kill your spouse and inevitably get away with it, OJ. Mm. And then you move on with your life. Right. You try to rebuild everything like it never happened, OJ Simpson. And then you just continue you might make some mistakes. You might, you know, yeah. have some, you know, issues here and there, memorabilia. You know, you just, but you try to make something of yourself, three-time yeah. loser. Then you, you know, <laughs> so what you might have to, you know, sit down for a while, do about 15 years. Then you, you, <laughs> you know, you, you still know that the end of all of that, right. that you can have a good, earnest life will always bang white women. And you, you know... That God has a plan for you, Viagra. And that is all I want to say about it. All right. That's what America was great. That's all there is to say. That's it. I don't know. Are you, are you guys ready? That was number four? That was number four. Number four? Okay. You guys ready for number three? Mm-hmm. Okay. Our number three television episode is... Yes, I'm dreaming of a Dwayne Christmas. Yes, 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 and yes. A Different and World yes. is number three on this list with a tremendous episode. Why? How you going? Wait, whoa, whoa. How's a different world? You all are placating to your audience. You're try- No, I disagree. If that's the case, why would we have the Asians and the Latina at, at, the, at the bottom? At the bottom of the, yes. the fish barrel. Yes. Why would we do that? Why? 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 I'm going to tell you this. What, what's your take on that episode? Okay. So first of all, your girl killed it. Yes. So we talked about this on the show last night. Yes. This Patty wasn't. LaBelle. This wasn't. Patty LaBelle. Patty this LaBelle. wasn't an episode where she was just in there because she was famous. Yeah. She played a character. She went all in on that. So she added to that episode. I, I want to say this. Do you feel like Whitley actually had a great antagonist up until seeing her with Mama Wayne? Yeah, no, definitely not. Because nobody else phased her. She was just like, whatever. Yeah, but I don't think that she's ever did any real character work against anybody. Like, mm-hmm. it was Whitley. Like, nobody else mm-hmm. had a care. Like, Freddie, That's right. but Freddie's was very passive. Yeah. She, you know, like, oh, no. Like, she didn't stand up to it. Nobody did. And here is Miss Wayne, mm-hmm. who was a character herself. Mm-hmm. And they were, like, the, you know, a movable object meets the, you know, irresistible the force, force yep. you know. Oh, and yeah. they just <laughs> clashed, and it was amazing. But I think the part that really got me, it was such a situation that most of us knew. Mm-hmm. Bringing home a significant other for the holidays for the first time, mm-hmm. and you know 
that they are not going to be received well. Mm -hmm. And your best friend is there eating up all the food, trying to be the buffer. <laughs> right. uh, you know what I mean? Because yep. if he, if Ron wasn't there, this would it would have went downhill real oh, yeah. fast. Oh yeah. It would have went down here real fast. So I think that that episode too. Another thing that I would like to say that it showed a really great middle class black existence. Mm -hmm. Like you know, sure we saw Cosby Show, you know, but here it is. Dwayne Wayne was a a, a mathematician. He was a mm -hmm. whiz kid. His father drove a bus. Mm -hmm. His mother. What does his mother do? Was she just a homemaker? They didn't clarify. That, I don't think they ever clarified yeah. it. And they lived in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And. I, I just thought it was brilliant. Ryan's dad was well to do. Yeah. He oh, was yeah. a, a, a successful a car, business owner, a business owner, successful mm -hmm. car uh, salesman, had a, a number one dealership in all of Detroit. So it, and they and they all got along. Whitley came from money. Her family owned slaves at one point in time. Remember that episode? Yeah. Anybody out there remember that? I, I am a different world. Oh, yeah. Aficionado. Oh, definitely. We can, except I don't know what Patty LaBelle did for a living on the show. But hey, that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. So, uh, you ready to move on to number two? We only have two more? We only have two more. Uh, I guess so. Okay, let's do our number two pick. Ladies and gentlemen, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, number two is Fest of Us for the rest of us. I, you don't get more creative than Fest of Us. Do you, well, obviously you do get more creative. Well, right, you, you do. You do. I thought you didn't. And when we started on yeah. Seinfeld was, I wouldn't say a lock. Yeah. But it was, it was leading the pack for number one on this list. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I said, there's no way Festivus mm. is mm. gonna be beaten. Like mm. that was too original. I thought that, you, you know what I mean? Like it was very creative. It was very fun. I mean, from beginning to end, mm -hmm. I love Seinfeld's A, B, C stories. Mm -hmm. They always have those uh, plots happening and then they all converge mm -hmm. uh, together in the second act mm -hmm. it's it's very improvish right. it's very improv you know how improv works uh, mm -hmm. take that one suggestion you move it over there then the next the next scene that you build up on you move it straight in the opposite direction right. and then the third one you try to bring yeah, bring them together yep. bring them together and that's yep. where you look like a genius or a fool and in this <laughs> yes. yeah in this instance they look like geniuses, geniuses. the festivus poll the airing of grievances. Airing the, that's my favorite part of the whole episode. Was the airing of grievances. <laughs> that concept, the airing of grievances. I, I think that because really, if you if you get down to it, that happens at holiday family yes. gatherings. They yes. just, they don't officially title it. He just officially titled it. He said, we're going to air our grievances. <laughs> we're going to air them. And, and and I think it was dope because it kind of lets you know like the next year is coming mm -hmm. up. Yep. Let's get all of this stuff out. Right. You know Although what I mean? I think it was just his excuse to criticize his son. <laughs> Probably. But did you know this that uh, that was actually something that a staffer mm -hmm. that was his real life? I, I did hear that piece of trivia. Yes. yes. That is that was his real life. Inconceivable that someone actually went through that. They went through that and he told them they was like what and they couldn't believe it. And they were like, oh, we have to do an yeah, episode about this. this. Yep. We have to. So, yeah, Festivus is number two. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break, a very quick break. And when we come back, we are going to have our number one pick for the top Christmas theme episode of all time. Ever. Stay tuned. This is the box. Stay right there and don't talk. Oh, hello. <laughs> no, I'm not Santa. I'm Jayco from FCN. But boy, do I have a gift for you. Join us and watch our 12 Days of Christmas list starting December 12th, every day at 7 p.m. Come watch with us. You'll be glad you did. 12 Days of Christmas List. 
December 12th through the 23rd, nightly at 7 p.m., only on the 5th Column Network. With the Fifth Column Network, you just caught me engaging in one of my favorite pastimes at Christmas, singing and playing the piano. You know what one of my other favorite, what one of my other favorite pastimes is? FCN's 12 Days of Christmas list. Join us every day at 7 p.m. on the Fifth Column Network, beginning December the 12th. You're not going to want to miss this. was the night before the first day of Christmas. Uh, oh, no, wait. Who wants that old story? Not us. We want debates and hot takes. See what FCN says is the best of Christmas. 12 Days of Christmas list. December 12th through the 23rd, nightly at 7 p.m., only on the Fifth Column Network. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one Christmas theme episode of all time is Seth MacFarlane's American Dad's Rapture's Delight. I, 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 I wouldn't have listen. I wouldn't have guessed it. I wouldn't have guessed. I it. wouldn't have guessed it because I am not a MacFarlane fan. Yeah, by any means. Yeah. And I never watched American Dad. Yeah. But this episode had everything. Yeah. It had it was it was so original yeah. in its theme. I did not see that coming. Like there were two or three little twists. I was like, oh my God, this is where we're going. Oh my god, this is where we're going. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. And I, I cracked up. I think that like I, I really loved like we used to watch uh, Futurama a lot mm -hmm. and they had the, the crazy Santa robot right. that went around and killed everybody, right? And I was like, yo, that was funny. But I think this though to tie it in biblically. Yes. You know, to really tie it in biblically and to ha like to kind of make fun of people who believe and the the Armageddon is going to uh, what what is it called? What people think they're gonna float away? No no no, but that's the Rapture. But what do they call it though? Oh, Ascension. Yeah, but I thought it was called something else. Oh, I never heard about people flying up like they just disappear. Mm -hmm. And I I think I started hearing about that with what's the name of that book series? The Left Behind. Oh yeah, Leftovers. No, like, Left oh, Behind. Left Behind. Left yes, behind. it's a Christian mm -hmm. horror series where uh, <laughs> people leave, and only people I left on Earth are people like me and you who steal from local department stores to feed and clothe the the hoes. They were a national chain, and you know they were screwing people, and they probably had slave labor somewhere in Malaysia. They deserved it. Yep. But Raptors Delight, listen, to, to have sex at church, number one. First of all. Now, first, oh. Roger. Roger loving the Bible. And like, oh, my God, you're flying now. It's like the diary of a madman. Like, Roger. <laughs> that line had me on the floor. I, I can't wait till they give the perfume to the star baby. The star like, baby. The star baby. He called Jesus a star baby. No, the three Chinese men give perfume <laughs> The three Chinese men give perfume to the star baby. I mean, that in itself would have been a hilarious. That would have been hilarious. With them going through the church thing and their little marital yeah. tension. Yeah, but but then they went to that the plot rapture. twist and the rapture happened. And then and and then, but wait a minute though. Why? Let's talk about when he thought Jesus came and he went down. <laughs> okay, take off your clothes. Take off your clothes. <laughs> and he was like, "Rapture me." <laughs> He had his pants down. He was like, "You're not really Jesus, are you?" <laughs> Why was Jesus trying to bait? Oh, Stay to get gay sex. Oh, is there any other kind? Wait a minute. That line that was one of my favorite lines when the newscaster when he said he said apparently God does love the gays, but only tops. <laughs> But only if they're tops. Oh my God! And then, 
And then you flash forward seven years later, mm-hmm. and they are in a post-apocalyptic <laughs> Armageddon. Stan has one eye and a hook. Jesus is knee deep in fighting demons Mm -hmm. and they are going to the Antichrist's lair to battle him once and for all. It was an 80s style action flick on steroids. It was a, it was, I could have watched that for 90 minutes. I literally, Seth should have done a 90 minute special behind that. And it was, it was absolutely amazing. It's to me, it's on the same level of the Voyager finale. It was like, why didn't y'all? This was this was amazing. This should have been a movie. Right. Like right. you guys could have made this into a movie. It was yep. just as good as Voyage. It was like one of their best episodes. But this was just absolutely stunning. And I think they used the best use of Christmas, right. the best use of the Bible. The you know like mm-hmm. and and as crazy as it sounds, I didn't find it offensive because Seth can get you know oh, a little yeah. bit beside himself. Oh, yeah. But I didn't find it offensive at, at, at all. I, hmm. I thought it was done in with an edge of with an edge mm-hmm. and still had taste. Yeah, that that's my thought. Agree. No, I, I agree 100 percent. It 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 walked a line, mm-hmm. but it did not go overboard. Yeah, he, he everything was perfectly placed. Yeah. And I, I am a fan of that show now. I'm going to go back and watch some of those Please episodes. Do. And see how I feel. I will not ever watch Family Guy. No, nah, that's some mean, merciless, it's, 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 honky devil <laughs> voodoo. Like, what? Do y'all have to do? Like, when I, when I saw them do the Whitney Houston and the crack, yeah. I was like, come on, fam. Like, you know, and I, and I want to say this, I don't want to get on soapbox, but see, that right there is what bothers me, right? Mm-hmm. Where's all the meth jokes at from, from white America right. on Family Guy? Where's, where's everybody scratching and they skin peeling off? But you all made so much fun of blacks mm-hmm. about crack cocaine when it was our epidemic when, guess what? You know who I saw use crack cocaine? White folks. I saw a whole lot of white folks come through and buy that Ready Rock. A lot of people forget <laughs> when it was called Ready Rock. Ready Rock is my favorite crack slang. I love Ready Rock. I want to bring Ready Rock. I, don't, I personally, law enforcement, I don't personally want to bring Ready Rock back. I want to bring back. Okay. I don't want to. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to rock right now. I want to. I want to rock right now. I want to. 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 I want to rock right now. <laughs> Start getting this footwork going. <laughs> it's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. Percolator. So clap on that ass. Y'all know nothing about that. Nothing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us in our shenanigans. Hey, uh, tomorrow, what what episode do we have tomorrow? Tomorrow we have Best Christmas Traditions, hosted by yours truly, J. Cole. We're going to be talking about the best traditions that families experience and and go through um, during the Christmas time. Um, I will have, as I said, Reggie Mathis. Starla K. Mathis will be on. It's going to be a good time. It sounds like it. It is, yeah. It absolutely. sounds like it. Good time. It's going to be a good time. I think we're it's going to be, be fun. We're going to be drinking. We're going to be. Oh, you guys are going to have alcohol on oh, your yes. show? Oh, definitely. What do you, why do you guys always have a bigger budget than me? Like, how do you guys? <laughs> they know that we need that. Like, you just, you just need, you're like MacGyver of hosting. Like, you can take, you know. It's a, just cocaine. A le- it's just cocaine. And by cocaine, I have a street legal. I have a street legal concoction for cocaine. Mm-hmm. Uh, one part Adderall, two parts big ass Red Bull. That is the equivalent <laughs> to la cocaína. Muy bueno, primo. Don't believe me. Muy, muy bueno. I lied. Two parts Adderall. <laughs> well, there we go. I would encourage you guys to watch all the episodes on this list. Mm-hmm. Join us tomorrow, 7 p.m., day three of the 12. You want to be like Ravo? Get you some Adderall and some Red Bull. Ah, ah, ah. I don't know. Wait, is that Red Bull? Is that two really big oh pings? <laughs> ah, 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 ah. I'm trying to stop them. Are they like attacking me? Is it like a two-dicked monster? <laughs> ah! No! No!